Okay, guys, I need to talk about X Bank stock. It's come to a really, really attractive level. First of all, let me start off by reading this. X Bank also wants volume to come quickly. Unlike Neo, he says the company is not a brand for the super rich, but it's targeting the 30,000 to 45,000 segment or about 25,000 to 37,000 euros. This is the most attractive market segment. So, X Bank, this car right over here cost 229,000 RMB and I did the conversion and that converts to around 29,000 euros. Are you kidding me? You're telling me this car right over here, which is comparable to a Tesla Model S is for 29,000 euros. Okay, I know that this is the starting price and you can add pretty cool features like um, intelligent cockpit and a cool car system and autonomous uh, driving there's all that in this ev chinese maker and it's backed by the chinese government and it's already started to expand to norway with one of their g3 models so to be honest i like the uh, the model g3 but i like the p7 a lot more i i believe once the p7 starts to come uh, to europe that would be really good and norway is a really great country for um, electric vehicles so this is pretty interesting to me now let's see what they did last quarter well last quarter they reached around 8,578 vehicles sold that's an increase of 265 percent so the revenue they're making is 279 million uh, for the quarter. So let's say for around a year, they're making 1 billion in revenue. Well, I think the growth in this company can be insane as countries in Europe need to go electric by 2030. That's what one of my friends said. And 2030 is a year, guys. All, all cars have to be electric. And what are you going to see when you see a car like this comparable to the Model 7 in Europe, in America? You're going to have to buy this. This is the future and people just have to accept it. So even if the company has a market cap of $26 billion and it's only making $1 billion in um, revenue, well, I think that's pretty decent and pretty fine for a company like this. It's got great technology and is spending money to make gigafactories just like tesla it's got a lot of backing from great investors now one of the reasons i researched why this stock is coming down and it's been in pressure is because insiders have been selling it i mean you can't blame them the stock is down 52 percent people wanted to take some profits it came down so people got scared the insiders of the company thought that they could invest their money somewhere else so it started to go down but also some other institutions have started to buy x bank in this dip i would say so so also because of this ev market crash you look at tesla a bunch of different evs mainly because of lucid motors it's made this whole ev game come down and i think this is the perfect opportunity to buy the dip it's already down 52 percent and the company hasn't really changed hasn't really said much hasn't done much advertising the pr is not that great at the moment but once these sales start to pick up i do believe in this great company that's it for this video guys if you have any questions let me know down below in the comment section below and i'll see you guys next time